<laughs> well, hello, pair of peeps, and welcome to another episode of Our Haunted Travels. I am your host, Sean Donnelly. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm your co-host, Mary Ann Donnelly. That's right, this is Our Haunted Travels. Let's talk paranormal live. Live at five. You left yeah. your you left your computer that was me. open. That was my fault. That was your fault. Sorry. It's Sorry okay. folks. We it's were right. sitting here, we went live and we heard it playing in the other room. <laughs> Sorry. Right. We need all the bandwidth we can get. <laughs> all right. Well, here we are. Welcome to Saturday nights live at five. Glad you could join us tonight. We got a big week this past week we need to talk about and talk about what's going on next week. All kinds of exciting all kinds things. Of, all kinds of things are going on, folks. So let's just hang around here for a little bit. Those of you who are joining us in the chat room, please, please leave us a chat and tell us where you're from. All right. Get things rolling here shortly. Yes. Flip over some screens. So how's everybody's week? Actually, I guess it hasn't really been a week since we were on live, but... Oh, we were live Thursday. <laughs> we were live Thursday. So how's it been since Thursday? How's it been since Thursday? <laughs> I'm set up here for... What do you... Has, I couldn't f see the button. Oh, 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 I see. Gotcha. All right. So, uh, of course, that ain't working. Keep talking. Okay. I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties. All right. So, tonight, uh, Sean is doing all kinds of things. He's getting uh, new toys set up so that we can play a new game for bottle caps. Um, there we go. And... What's going on? <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, okay. Fixed it. I got a hair stuck in my lip somewhere. I can't find fixed it. Fixed it. Fixed it. Uh, so, was the paranormal crazy for you? I don't know. I think he might be talking about the uh, investigation. The investigation. The one You're talking from, about that we the did investigation. Thursday? If so, yes. then yes. Yes, yes it, it was. was crazy. It was one of the most active investigations, investigations ever yeah they, for us actually going back and watching it for like the 50th time i think we probably counted close to 12 to 15 different spirits that we were communicating with and it just kept going and that whole investigation although we were live for an hour we were probably there closer to two mm -hmm. and uh yeah it was uh it was pretty active in the location where it was Nobody would even think to go there to investigate. Yeah, most people don't. So. But Irish Whiskey's asking about last night. So did we do something last night or we were supposed to do something? I don't know. I think that maybe. Oh, no, he said his K2 was flipping out last night. We didn't do oh, any investigation K2. last night. Was that because <coughs> of the, the, mo oh, the full California moon thing? Oh, from California was the paranormal crazy was that, is that why you, you investigated la yesterday? We didn't investigate yesterday at all. No, yesterday we'll talk about. We were going. We, we were, were going to in, to do some oh, in the yeah, in we the were RV. Do it in RV. But we and, didn't yeah, end we up didn't. doing it. We in, did something else instead. Yeah, which we'll, so we'll talk about here. We'll we'll do that coming up this week. I seriously have some sort of hair on my lip or something. You get it. I don't know. I keep feeling it. All right, let's do a little <laughs> bit of housekeeping while we wait for people to. Yes, yeah, so he come said and join yes us. because of the moon. He was going to do it. So you had a lot of activity then out in Cali. Then very nice, very nice. And Richard says hello from the Buckeye State. Hello, Richard. Yes. All right, guys. So we have Joe Walsh with us here today. <laughs> I'll be like Mike Ferrara and say maybe we'll pick up some extra points for being Joe Walsh in the video. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> All right, let's talk about show producers. Tonight's show is brought to you by... Crash Palace, Promote Horror, and Twelfth Night Horror. Thank you, my dear. And You're how welcome, can you become darling. a show producer? Well, you can become a show producer by following us on Twitter, 
liking, retweeting, commenting on our posts, and of course, being in the top three individuals who do that, and that makes you a co-producer. That's right. That's how it works. So every Friday, we get a little message on our Twitter, and it <laughs> picks the top three for us. All right. And we give a little shout out to them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. All right, before we get moving any uh, further, uh, just a disclaimer, we are live. So I do apologize for something that I am probably going to say or do later that is wrong. But Marianne that's is right. here to I'll correct fix me. It. <laughs> that's right. If you guys haven't joined us before, you know that's how it works. I know how it works after 12 years of marriage. All right, so if you are new to our channel and you haven't subscribed, go ahead. Go ahead and subscribe now. Now's a good time to do it. And smash that like button because we're going to donate those likes later to our shout out person that we're going to be shouting out. And you're going to be glad that you did. Okay. <laughs> How are we doing? All right. We're, we're, we're doing. All we're right. So let's along. get some more people to the party here. If you guys please would take this and share it out on your social media, tweet it out, put it on Facebook, whatever you want to do. Get it out there and say, hey, we're having a party here over at Panic D Videos. Come and join in. Greatly appreciate it. And you guys would be surprised how many more people you get on your live stream by everybody doing that. Tracy says she's new. I know. I was just gonna, trying to think of something cunning and punny and <laughs> to put in the response here. All right. So... Every week we started this a few weeks ago saying who we are and what we do and all that other stuff. Our main channel, basically, we focus on a location that we have visited. Each week we do a different location. We've been over to over 200 of them across the United States. But let's talk a little bit more about Let's Talk Paranormal. This show right now, every Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern, we will come on and do this show from wherever we're at. If we're at home, we're in the studio. And we got our buddy Boris. Yes, and Boris actually just got a shout out in the chat. They wanted to say hi to Boris. All so right. There Dawn, you go, buddy. Dawn from Just Out and About says hi to Boris. All right. That's awesome. All right. If we're out traveling, we will also go live, whether it be on our cell phone, we don't have all these fancy graphics and things like that, or on our portable studio, which once we get Harvey going, hopefully in the near future, we're going to be going live from a campsite. So, hopefully. Marianne's not liking this idea. I keep saying I want to go camping, and she's, like, rolling her nose up at it. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's my fault. I let him, I found the RV and everything. It is my fault, but... I thought we would be. Fault. I thought we would be taking it to paranormal locations, not just into the woods, but... Well, September, September, hopefully it's going to be rolling the Hillview Manor. So, yeah. But I would like to go camping a little bit. I'm, I've said I want to do it before I go back to work, but i got a week left. But if I could go camping, like, while I'm at work, it might make it a little bit more bearable. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Just saying. All, All right. Are right. we ready to do roll call yet? It's up to you. All right. So if you haven't left a chat yet, please leave a chat because Marianne's going to go through and do... The roll call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have Angie Tech. We have Inspired John. We have Irish Whiskey 77. Just out and about. Uh, Lawrence. Mr. Dutchy Dutch. T Throng or Tracy. And I know Richard was there. He said hello, but he must have timed himself out there. Uh, so welcome to the stream. Welcome everybody. So as we advertised, second part of the show, we're going to be playing some Pictionary. Yes. So you guys should definitely uh, go find bottle caps because yeah. this is for bottle this caps is for anyway. Bottle caps. <laughs> oh, PSPR is in the house. Did you say PSPR? No, I didn't. Yep, He's just, just said hello, in. hello PSPR. <clears throat> All right, so I do have to say this, and this is to our moderators, which I think we got two in here at the moment. Um, Marianne's going to be watching, too. The last few live streams we've been at, PSPR, you could probably attest to this, there are trolls going around. So if you They're guys, everywhere. I'm giving you guys permission. If you see something that 
should, is not appropriate, sub for sub, all that garbage, go ahead and kick them. You know, give them a warning. And if it's too much, go ahead and kick them. We were on uh, Michael's this morning. It was getting a little out of hand. So you guys have our permission. We made you moderators. We have full faith in you. You're not going to hurt our feelings. We don't care. Go ahead if you have to. All right. So, sorry, got that out of the way. Back into the show mode. <laughs> I was going to message every you guys like ahead of time and say this, but it's been a busy day. And we'll get to that. We'll get to that. All right, so let's do, uh, okay, well, I started talking about this show. Let's talk paranormal. We do it every week, live at 5, okay? Mm -hmm. We give something away when we do the show, but we also use the first part of the show to kind of wrap up last week and get ready for next week, okay? So this is like our anchor show, our live show that we do. So Abraxas Paranormal is in the house. And so is Paranormal Mama. All right. Um. So, I lost my train of thought. Who we are, what oh, we do. So this show, Saturday, every that's that's the purpose of this show. <laughs> and then if anybody wants to talk about anything paranormal, that's the title of the show, let's talk paranormal. That's right, so you guys can ask questions <sighs> or, you know. All right, so let's whatever. give away, what were we giving away from last week? Our book. We were giving away our book. We were giving away our book. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we can talk about parapeeps. So... Last week's giveaway is our book, which is not signed yet, but it will be before it goes out. That's right. This is our first volume of uh, Our Haunted Travels. Telling how we started and uh, give some tips and tricks and also some yeah. information about St. Augustine, Florida yeah, we're and gonna paranormal We're going to be getting started there. on the next volume here shortly. That's a good winter <laughs> project. But, uh, all it right, is a good so winter project for you. Last week, we only had... Three people that sent the email. So that means you've got a 33 and a third percent chance of winning. That's right. We've got Sid Hearth, T Throng, and In the Woods with Woofy. <laughs> Tracy says that's her book. That's her book. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and flip on over to the digga 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 digga. Okay. Joanne has joined us. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So let's give this thing away, then we're going to say what we're giving away f next week for this show. There you go. Which we don't have one of in here. Of course we don't. No. All right, here we go. <laughs> Teeth throw. It is Tracy's book. book. She called it. <laughs> she called it. It is Tracy's book. <laughs> Tracy, you got some sort of uh, psychic powers that you're holding back on us. <laughs> that's pretty cool congratulations all right now um we are we are behind of course it happens we get behind but we don't send stuff out every week we have a whole bunch of stuff we got to send out so if you haven't got your stuff that you won yet bear with us all it's the gettysburg coming. stuff's going out and all that stuff because of us traveling and you know getting back in on. swing getting things. back into the swing life you know. Yeah, it happens. So, let's talk about parapeeps just for a second. All right. Hashtag parapeeps. That is our community, and it is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay? And, yeah. i got to find the thing. So, how can you become a parapeep, and what does that mean? Everybody who's here right now is a parapeep. What we're talking about is certified parapeeps. Okay? And basically, all you have to do, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell, like one of our videos, and hopefully everybody in the room right now has hit that like button, because we're going to donate those likes to somebody. My Comment on one of our videos. You guys are leaving comments in the live chat. That counts. And tell a friend about us. That would be nice. It helps us grow. What? You know how they're that not whole... seeing you. The screen's oh. up, just so oh. you know. <laughs> okay. You're looking well. at me talking with your hands. Yeah. Anyways, you take that information and you send an email to panicdvideos at gmail.com and we will shoot you back a certificate that looks something like that. But it has your name instead of my name. All right. Because that's because that's way better than your name. Yes. Yeah. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say that uh, you you mentioned that they're gonna you're gonna donate the likes to someone today. 
Well, my mom, she was on uh, Fa- Mr. Fair's channel. Yeah, that's where I got the and idea. That's the same thing he was saying, and she she didn't understand she that. Didn't understand it's kind of like how I didn't understand how the show producers, the show producers were kind of like, I don't understand this. It's all showbiz. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's all showbiz. Yeah. It's all showbiz. We'll come back to that. All right, so, folks, listen. Listen to me. Ready? Listen. I wish I could bring that camera closer. Just, just kind of lean in. <laughs> Listen. We want to send you a t-shirt. We want to send you a t-shirt. You have to enter to win it. Here's how you do it. Send proof of that subscription. Just like I said about becoming a parapeat. Shoot us that email and put the subject hashtag 018. Hashtag 018. Next week when we go live at 5... If you just send us an email, it's that simple. With that hashtag. With that hashtag. We'll put your name in. If your name is drawn, we'll send you a t-shirt. So when we give away a t-shirt, we do ask for two additional things. It'd be nice if you send us your address. And shirt size. And shirt size. Okay? Because when you win a t-shirt and I don't have that, then we have to go and track you down and say, hey, you want a t-shirt. I need your address and shirt size and all that. And that delays the whole thing. But if I could go out there and make 10 t-shirts and put them in a thing and they're gone, that's a half day's work. We're done. Yeah. And if it and if you don't send it and we have to hunt you down, it makes him get slower. Just saying. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Yankees in the house. Yankee, how you doing? Welcome to the Yankee, stream. Yankee, what we talked about on Twitter, buddy, we're going to be doing in the next few days. Yes. And get that over to you, okay? If you remember what I'm talking about. All right, let's talk about the big giveaway. The big one, the big one, the huge one. The big one. The big one. Here's where we're at, folks, and this is because of you guys. That's right. This is not us. This is you guys. Here's where we're at. 1,238 subs. The second consecutive week in a row, 61 new subs. We should need sound effects. I keep saying I need sound effects. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Now, what we're watching for is those hours, the watch time. Okay? Yeah. Four, what is it? Huge four, hours this week. 300 subs basically away? 301 watch hours away. 301 watch hours. Once we hit that mark, huge giveaway, folks. Huge. And I think what we're going to do is we'll just put all the pair peeps in there. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to have to find a different... Yeah, I don't know how many you can put. I don't know. I didn't didn't say that officially yet, but uh, we'll (laughs) see. Maybe. We just might put all the pair of peeps in there. Maybe put everybody's name in a hat and draw it. What do you think? Because we're going to be giving away. Should we tell them one of the things that we're giving away? They came today. Should we tell them? Or you want to wait? That's up to you. You wanted to wait for some reason. We could wait. It's okay. Go ahead. You want to tell them. No, I You can't we'll keep secrets from them. You're... Well, you... I don't know. Do you guys want to know one of the things that's going to be the giveaway? Well, first of all, it's going to be a $50 or more Amazon card. T-shirts, probably. Coloring books. Tracy says they'll let Boris pick. How about a travel Boris? Hmm, your very own travel Boris. Travel Boris is in the house. Okay, I said it. We'll see if anybody pays attention to what I, I say. I don't think they care. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Nobody cares. Oh, goodness gracious. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, goodness, sweetheart. Joanne says Harvey the RV. Uh, no. That would be a no. That would be a no. I All still right. owe too much on Harvey Are you the ready RV. for your eBay update? Uh, sure. Tracy says she wants Boris. Yeah? Yes. Well, not that Boris, because we wouldn't be able to do any more ghost stories of folklore. The travel Boris, like we <laughs> took to Gettysburg. Yes. Are you going to make a, his little thing for him? I could. You got more yeah. of that stuff? Well, yeah. you could buy more, I guess. I have more, too. I don't really like it. To so be just he needs just some out and about is saying travel Boris question mark. Where's travel Boris? Tra- that travel Boris is 
outside the traveling. Okay. The, the travel bourse that will be a giveaway is here. Okay, the travel bourse is a little a miniature, miniature version one. of him. And if you go back, there's actually a video that came out that was on a Tuesday, not last week, but the one before, of travel Boris's pictures all over Gettysburg. Yes. And it's a little miniature him that we take traveling. We call him either Little Boris or Travel Boris or something. So yeah. he's a little dude. Yeah. The people in Gettysburg were like freaking out when Marianne pulled him out of her bag. It was hilarious. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> I love shocking people. Especially when he was walking around the sharpshooter's nest. Yeah, she put him and he's like walking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, hey. Just out and about said that uh, they loved his picture video. <laughs> well, that's the little travel boards. We have other little travel boards. Yes. And we're going to give a one away in that big giveaway. So. Yes, yes. All right. And Irish Whiskey says Boris has a big smile. He has too much fun. That's right. <laughs> Got to do it. All right. Hey. All right. Are you ready? Yep. All right. It's that time, folks. All right. That didn't crash. So, woohoo. <laughs> All right, dear. Take it away. All right. So, he calls this the eBay update, but I did not get this on eBay this week. This week, I got it on Amazon. So, I. I don't know. We might need to change the the. Uh, no, nah, that will call it eBay update. Okay. <laughs> well, this one came from Amazon today. Uh, I came in today. If you remember on the live stream on Thursday, I said that I purchased it Thursday. And usually, when you buy books on Amazon, it takes a little bit longer to get here. But it's here. This is the uh, diary, a diary of a battle. Um, this is uh, Colonel Wainwright's book. That's the one she was talking the about. One on the one I mentioned stream. in the live stream. And that's a thick one too. It man. is. So and our I, foundation probably just went. <laughs> and I did more. go. I did go in and find that that passage in the book that talked about. You found it already. I did. I did. Man. You read to that point, or, or yeah, you just okay, lucked no. out? No, I looked in the index and oh, said, "Where's the, the Gettysburg part?" And yeah. so I looked it up, found the Gettysburg chapter, and I went to day two of the battle because I knew that's when it was. I found the excerpt that we mentioned in the live stream the other day. Can you take pictures of that and put it in our Discord of that excerpt? Of that excerpt? I don't see why. What not. What do you guys think? Which, by the way, I could do that. If you go down in our description, down in our description is the link to our Discord. Um, if you guys haven't joined our Discord yet, please do so. We're starting to put more stuff out there. Marianne will take a picture of that excerpt that we talked about on the live stream, the actual diary from yeah, General it's a Colonel. Colonel. Colonel Wainwright. Colonel uh, Wainwright. And we could put it in the Discord and you guys can see it. That's the actual... Yeah, text, well, this so. it's, it's typewritten text. Uh, they've transcribed it, basically. Okay. But it is his text. So it's not his handwriting. It's not his handwriting, which for some people that's actually better because most people are are starting to have more and more trouble reading the uh, text that was written by hand in the 1800s. Yeah. So I I know it I we we joke all the time about people not teaching kids how to do cursive handwriting anymore, um, and I get upset when my kids to come to my class and they can't do their signature. They're 16 years old. They're going to get their driver's license. They can't write their name on their safety contract. But um, they also, in my forensic science class, I have some of the documents that they have to like read, you know, um, that were, you know, ransom notes and things like that from some of the cases. And they're like, I can't read this. Yeah. So anyway. All right, so before we That's move on to the next segment, again, folks, if you want to win a Our Haunted Travels t-shirt, make sure you send us an email with the subject, hashtag 018 to panicdvideos at gmail.com, and include your address, as well as proof you subscribe, and all that fun stuff will make you a pair of peep, and we need your address. Shirt size and address. Shirt size and address. That I would should be probably easy. put that on that slide. You should. You should. Yeah. All right. All right. Moving on. Moving on. All right. Um, let's do this next. All right. So uh, each week we started this when we hit 1,000. Each mm -hmm. week we take a parapeep. 
and we feature their channel. And this week, we are featuring a uh, channel that uh, this gentleman is a pair peep. Well, his channel, and well, okay, yeah, he's a pair peep. <laughs> okay, and uh, this week, we're featuring Polynesian blogger, vlogger, vlogger, vlogger. Yes. Polynesian vlogger. Uh, he does a vlog every day, uh, and he does shout outs. And he is very active in the community. I see him around everywhere. And some of his stuff is just hilarious. I love it. Um, he makes me smile every time I watch one of his uh, videos. He's very energetic and very just a nice all-around great guy. Yeah, and he keeps the spam in. Uh, yeah, spam. Spam in. He uh, loves spam. Yeah. <laughs> so a link to uh, Polynesian Vlogger is down in the description. You can go check out his channel. Show him some love. And please comment on one of his videos and say, Hey, Panic D video sent you, sent you over there. That would be kind of cool. Let him know that we're thinking about him and that he is a great guy. Check out some of his videos. They are pretty awesome. And he is in Hawaii. So Yes. Yeah. He, one place we want to go. Yeah, it's one of the places that's on my list, and someday I will be there. I don't know when it will be, but it will be sometime. And uh, when I go there, my there's two more things on my bucket list that are not on your bucket list. <laughs> but I've always wanted to walk on a volcano, and I've always wanted to swim with sharks. Those are two things that we haven't done that are there, plus, of course, going to Hawaii. So, yeah. Uh, those are definitely things that someday I'm going to do when I get there. All right. So I got a couple things that we need to talk about before we go on because I think we're getting ready to the, yeah, we're getting pretty close to the, to the, to the, nice, to the nice show, why the Pictionary, probably why you guys are here. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is, uh. And I, I'm going to try not to get emotional. I'm really going to try not to. Uh, is uh, Pusha Studios. And what happened Thursday night in the video that we put out. And the response video back to us. And I tell you what guys. If you're not a member of the hashtag Blue Wrench group. And you're trying to grow your channel. You need to be. <laughs> highly recommend it. They're Yankee's great. here too. Yeah. If you're not a member of his community you're missing out yeah. yankee michael fiera uh pusha studios we're a member of all three of those communities and and we're honored to be there's people in the chat that's members of those communities too yeah y you guys know what i'm talking about but uh when that happened thursday and we got raided uh from pusha studios this chat room just exploded. Marianne's like over here. She's like going, oh, I don't think like I this. could keep up with all the words. And I'm just watching. <laughs> I'm seeing hashtag, you know, from Pusha, Pusha with love. love. And I knew what was happening. I'm like, oh, we're getting ready. This is cool and everything. And it just kept going and going and going and going. And I'm like, wow, this is insane. So I just kind of quit watching the, the chat and, and, you know, was trying to run everything. But after it was over and everything rendered in the following morning and I went back and I looked and wow, that was, that was crazy. So that's why Friday we were going to do, normally on Fridays we do a location video and wrap it up. But I think you guys heard enough about East Cemetery, East Cemetery Hill. Hill. We went over the history, we yeah. went over our experiences, we went over all that stuff. So this is actually the first week since November that we didn't do a location video and, um, I'm like, well, we did talk about going out and doing something out in Harvey, but I wanted to do a thank you video, so that's why we, we put that out. And um, I was very emotional. She was emotional. We're watching it back. We're both, like, in tears. And uh, that was that was a rough one. And then seeing all your guys' comments on there. And I do have to say, that that thank you video that we put out, and we didn't we just did it to say thank you. That was the first video that we've had that broke 100 views in 24 hours. That was the first one. That's been a goal of mine. Wow. I don't know. Bill, how long? We've known each other since April. 
Uh, so May, been trying to do that, trying to accomplish that, and boom, it just it took off. So thank all of you guys for going and watching that, liking it, commenting on, leaving comments for Pushu Studios. That's why I asked, you know, not to us, to them for doing that. Yeah. So really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So. Go ahead. You want to ask him? Or you did ask him? No, I didn't ask him. Go ahead. You keep talking. Okay. So, Abraxas, are you still in here? Is it okay that uh, we go over uh, what you're going through, buddy? I want to get your permission before we do that. If you don't want us to bring it up, um, I'll take the slow briefly talk about it but if it's okay just let us know okay or not you still here go ahead go all ahead. right so a member of our community and of i know he's a member of blue ranch and i've seen him on yankees um he's a member of the community and uh, he has his channel and yeah he's uh he's got some issues that he's going through and that's a braxis paranormal what I want to do is I want to share a video with you guys that we caught. Well, I it was late last night. It might have even been this morning. It was like 1 o'clock this morning. Yeah, it was 1 o'clock because we were trying to see what we could do to help. But I want you guys to uh, just kind of watch this. This explains everything. Uh, hopefully this is going to work. If not, you can... Hello folks, I'm Ghost Dog. You know what, screw that, this is more important. My name is Lawrence. I'm a fellow YouTuber, like a breast view, and uh, subscriber to a lot of other shows. Tonight I got a call, a really disturbing call, and it really makes me upset because there's nothing I can do, because I just come off of a four week truck breakdown, be it I'm a truck driver. so. There's nothing I can do, but I can't do this. I can get a message out to everybody that may be able to help. If you can't help, at least please retreat this and get the message out this way. We have a fellow YouTuber named Abraxas. Real name is Chris. He's from uh, Braxis Paranormal. I will leave the links down below after this video. He made a huge mistake and his video that I made him put up because he had, uh, what's the word? He had too much pride to actually try to do it himself until I made him do it, to uh, do a call out to his fans. And, uh, but here's, here, real, qu real quick, exactly, exactly what's going on. He moved from Michigan down to Virginia on big hopes and dreams and whatnot, on a very limited fund. And uh, because of that, he didn't really plan this out too well. He admits it, he made a mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. This one just happened to be a big one because it doesn't just involve a Braxis. It involves his entire family. I got a call, as I was saying earlier, I got a call saying, uh, his car car got towed down, co towed away. It broke down, it couldn't get fixed, and the police made them move it somewhere, which ended up getting towed. So he's got no car at the moment. He has a wife and two children, one 13-year-old, one 15-year-old. His wife is handicapped. She is in a wheelchair and she is blind. They have no money whatsoever and when I say no money I mean literally no money and they're well overdrawn on their account they're 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 screwed I, I'm just gonna be blunt they're really screwed so what I'm asking folks okay that right there was what triggered us to start doing some looking um, we started sharing this out. We we saw Abraxas's post. 
everything like that. So we're just asking you guys, if you could share this out, um, it's on our Twitter links. If you want to help out Abraxas, a links to his PayPal are down in the description. Um, if there's anybody uh, that could help him out, um, there is a Western Union next next to where he's at that he can walk to. And uh, you can get a hold of Abraxas on Twitter. And uh, you can get a hold of uh, this gentleman. He's also in chat, Lawrence. He's in chat here. He's the one that made this. This is how we saw this. We saw it on Twitter. And um, I met... Uh, well, I saw these guys. They were doing a uh, spirits box session in uh, in uh, Lawrence's truck, and I started following them and uh, watching some of the videos and stuff. And it just popped up on our Twitter because I didn't. I had no idea what was going on. And we said on today's show that uh, we want to help spread the word and get some help. Um, if you guys have seen the videos, Abraxas actually stopped here on his way to Virginia, and that's the first time we met him in person. And uh, we want to help out any way we can. So if you could say a prayer for them, share this out. If you want to help them out, his PayPal is down there. Now, just so you know, PayPal takes about three days uh, to go through. Um, but there is a Western Union that's within walking distance. If you want to go that route, you have to get a, a hold of Abraxas. I don't want to give his full name and ID and all that stuff on here. Or you can get a hold of Lawrence, uh, the gentleman that made this video, and they'll give you that uh, information so you can wire him some money. So, just wanted to do that. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Again, the links are down in the description for Lawrence's channel. Um, actually, here, I'm going to give you Lawrence's... I have it up right here. I'll put it in chat. This is Lawrence's Twitter. Um, Abraxas. I'll, I'll get that. Go ahead and talk for a minute. I'll find Abraxas on here. Okay. So, uh, anyhow, uh, thank you, Yankee, for stopping by. He says he's going to start sharing it out as well. Thank you, Yankee. Appreciate um, it. And uh, Joanne had some questions about what this discord thing was so i just said that it was a way for us to get more information to the payer peeps um i don't know all too much about it yeah, actually we're, to be we're, honest. we're just getting started with it there joe but uh here's the link and we could talk off the show and uh, it, it, you can actually download this go discord to your phone or you could do it web-based and we're starting to get people in there already yeah so um, i'm going to be sharing it's like a, a chat picture server, basically. from the diary of the battle uh from Cur colonel wainwright's uh diary from the gettysburg section of the civil war um his the book is actually for longer than that i just i'm going to share a section that we talked about on the show thursday all right uh, so how well you do doing this there? while i'm at that yep. and if you want to help through PayPal, here's Abraxas's PayPal. And Dila says that they will be in her thoughts. Yes. So thank you. Anything helps. Share out, share that message out. Send him prayers. Um, anything you could do to help him. He is a member of the community. And hey, that's what it's all about: is helping each other out. So. Yep. All righty. Let me see where we're at here. Joanne thought Discord was a game. She's like, oh, I thought it was a game. <laughs> well, it could be a game. Uh, <clears throat> could be a game. I don't know. Yes. <sighs> All right. And Tracy says she will share it out. And Anja says that I, she will do yeah, what she I, can. You know, so. even if you send them a prayer or... Yep. Tweet it out, whatever you do. You happy know, thoughts. Any any happy thoughts his way. Right. Tell him you're thinking about him or in your prayers, whatever. Mm -hmm. Every little tiny little prayer helps. That's right. Right. Yes. Yes. I think I text that to Abraxas. So, or something similar to that. All right. Hey, if you want to win a T-shirt, <laughs> I don't know how else they'll segue. We'll just talk about the T-shirt. Yeah, let's segue back. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And in that, send us an email. 
to panicdvideos at gmail.com and in the subject make sure that you put hashtag 018 and that'll enter you to win it all right so we need to get this out of the way because we're going to try to do Pictionary. That's right. And Bottle Caps is here. Bottle Caps is here. All right, my friend, we're doing this for you. So here's what we're going to do. We're trying something here. I think this will work. I think, I think, I think. All right. What we're going to do, are you guys ready to play Pictionary? Of course if you're ready, let us know. I think, they, I think they'll be ready. You're going to do this one first. No. Uh, okay. No, no. I, I I wouldn't know how to draw that. You want to try it? No, because I can't. I'm just saying that that just one is special to today. That's okay. why I was just going to, to say just that. Just talk for a minute. All right. So, Dila says yes. That she is ready to do this. Is that this one right here? No, it's the one down below. All right. Uh, let's see here. This one. <laughs> Sean's got to get his creativity She's making me in do mind. The drawing. That's right. He's much better at it than well, I am. Well, you whisper to me and tell me what to draw. You got to help me out here a little bit. All right. <laughs> so, are you going to keep track of the score? Oh, I can do that. I can do that. All right. Just out and about has to head out. So, thank you very thank much you for, for joining us. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great weekend. Yes, same to yeah. you. Joe, this is going to be the game part of the show. Here, you got nails. I do. Keep track. Watch this high tech, folks. <laughs> All I know is I told Sean he has to do the drawing because... He's much better at it than I am. Yeah, Welcome back, Inspired John. All right. So, anyways, what we are using for this first ever official <laughs> round of Pictionary on Panic <laughs> D videos is we are using titles from 1950s horror movies. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, so I po I posted it out on, on Facebook earlier. I said, you know, what your topic was going to be. I said, Sean wants to make it hard on you. So, <laughs> no, I think it's cool. so I said, go and study. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to try this first one. And I guess the first person that guess it gets a point. If you're close, you get a half a point. Or something okay. like that. Okay. All right, so here we go. We'll give it a shot. So, we'll try. We'll so this one, works. which one was it? That one. This one. This is going to be, that last word, I don't know how to draw that. But, hmm. So this, I should. All right, so this is going to be. I guess three words, four words. I guess four words. But one of them is one of those little yeah, minuscule of words that doesn't mean word. anything. So we'll put that, and I have to write this backwards so you guys can see it. I think I wrote that backwards. There you go. Nice. Did I do that? Yeah. Okay. So. Yep. All right. I can't see the top. Well, how do you do? What? I don't even know what you're drawing. <laughs> Is this what you're saying to do? Yeah, and then make it the... Yeah. I was going to draw this. Okay, now draw bigger. whatever you want. Go ahead. Okay. Sheena says hello to everyone. So hello, Sheena. Sheena Marie Mertrillo. We're playing Pictionary of 1950s horror movies today. 
not Bride of Frankenstein tea throng. So that looks like a. Oh. Yeah, that's probably better. Now, how to do the last one? <laughs> I don't know how to do the last one. That. I know. I don't either. All right, let's work on the first one. <laughs> okay. All right, so I guess if we drew it backwards, you uh -oh. kind of see these on cars. Yeah, that's probably better than mine. So far, all we've got is Bride of Frankenstein, and that is incorrect. Okay, so you got you got that of that. I don't know how to draw the last one. Should we just give it to him? Because that's so hard. No. Well, I, I don't know how to do that. Uh, I, all right. I know a Pictionary you're not supposed to give letters, but I'm just going to give a letter. This is the beginning letter of no. that. It's backwards. Oh, no. no, you That's, drew it correctly. I drew it correctly. So I've got to draw things in reverse because the way that camera is. So I guess it's... This it's way? It's not Mars. Is that right? <laughs> Yeah, that should be right. It's not Mars. So it's... Daughter of Frankenstein? No, no but, you're but you're closer. Close. I like that. You're close. Blank of... Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess I guess I gotta make this, but this sucks, man. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Where's, oh, where's Bottle, Bottle Cap's, Cap's answer? Left. Where's Bottle Cap's answer? That's where I want to see. What's he getting? Children of Mars. Nope. Jupiter. Nope. Son of. Nope. Daughter of Dr. Jekyll. Yes. Yes. Who guessed that? Richard. Good job, wow. Richard. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good wow. job. So, Dr. Jekyll's daughter there. Yes. Daughter, daughter of Dr. Yeah, Jekyll. Daughter of Dr. And I put J for Jekyll, because how do you draw Jekyll? Jeez, how do you draw Jekyll? I don't even know how to draw that. But good guess. Good All guess. All right. <laughs> Inspired Charles, like, oh. <laughs> All right. oh. Good job, Richard. All right, I'm going to take this. <laughs> wow, that was a hard one. It was a hard one. Now, there so there was, was a, a reason, reason why you yes. started off with it. There was a reason why I started off with that one. Today, in 1957, July 28th, 1957, was the release date of that particular movie. And since today is the 28th of July, I said, that's the one we're going to start with. That's the one we're starting with. The most <laughs> hardest one that I could it was think pretty, of. It was pretty difficult. That was crazy insane. All right. <clears throat> So are you guys ready to do another you guys one? Ready for another you one? You can't erase well, can you? No, there's something wrong with it. There's something wrong with it. Well, do can you want to switch? switch? Yeah, yeah, let's switch them. I'll erase my answer thingy here. There you go. You All right, so Richard up. got one point. All right. And it's starting to get dark, so I hope you guys can see that. I, uh, it looks good. So looks far. good? Yeah. All right, you guys ready for the next one? <laughs> And, and Jewish like, oh, redneck he, he. peppers. Prepper. I love oh, prepper. Prepper. Oh, I thought it said redneck. No, peppers. I think it's prepper. Jewish I think it's redneck preppers. peppers. Shalom, my friend. Yeah, prepper, like the you know, like the our gotcha our guys. All right, all right, here we go. We are ham radio operators as well, so that's why I knew it was prepper. Prepper. Okay, um, I'm done all that right. one. All right, so this one is two words, two words. All right. All right, so... Sheena says she loves this game. <laughs> okay, two words. The Invisible Man. Nope. Huh. 
kind of looks scary. It does look scary. <laughs> Wolfman. Nope. Mork for Mork. <laughs> I'm a horrible drawer. You're really so much better than this normally. <laughs> of course, you usually don't like have to stretch across a keyboard either. I know. Cat people. All right. So that's... We got, okay. That's good enough then. All right. All right. Dog man. No. Which, which one was it? Yeah, but which which one is it? This? Yes. Okay. Boom! That's it. Not quite woman. Close. Close. Do, um... Okay. So, oh. That would be a big one. That'd be a little one. Cat girl, Tracy. Cat girl, Tracy got Tracy. it. Tracy. Congratulations. Tracy gets one. All right. Is this my good sock? <laughs> I wanted to go buy socks before I go back to work. I just bought you new socks, remember? I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so that one was Cat Girl. Good job. Oh, man. All right, so Richard won and Tracy won. And Richard was close on this one, too. So Richard is a force to be reckoned with in Pictionary. All I can say is Bottle Caps requested this, and I didn't yeah, see did a single leave? answer from him She's at all. <laughs> he probably just dropped in and said hello and left. All right, but that's okay, because we've been wanting to play Pictionary anyways for a while, and I didn't know how we were going to do it, and it was a 50-50 chance on whether I hooked up that other camera and everything just crashed and burned. <laughs> 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 so I said, all right, we're just going to do it. We'll see. All right, you writing down which ones I, d I did? Oh, no. That would require another writing instrument. Let's see. Boom, boom. Uh, that was a uh, daughter of Dr. J. All right. Ooh. Okay. All right. You want to do one? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that seems fair. They said your cat looked like a dog. Did it? <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, here we go. Here we go with the next one. This is going to be three words, and I'll give you the little word. Ooh. We are getting good. Nope. Close. Ugh. Remember, it has yeah, to be opposite of what it looks like to you. <laughs> no. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, 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 all right. I'm looking at the screen over here, and it's still the old version. It's just a little behind on okay. the screen. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so. All right, so take this. What is that? <laughs> Just the first part of this. Oh, that's that's written the wrong way. You guys get it. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you watching the chat? Pogo stick. <laughs> yes, it's a PG show, PSPR. I would have drawn something different. What would you have drawn? Why didn't you draw then? I was going to draw this. What the this. freak is that? I was going to... Oh, where's it at? Why can't I see it? There. I was going to draw... A leaf? That. What's that got to do with anything?
Oh, I get you. Yeah. Okay. So the first part is a person's name. Okay, so Richard got Jack the Knife, so okay, it's, you're not, close. it's not Richard, that, you're close. but you're close. So this, if, if you think this is a knife, <laughs> I don't know what you got in your drawers at home, because... <laughs> <laughs> so he said Jack, right? Yes. So we'll oh, Angie got it. Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper. This is ripping a piece of paper. At first, I think she wanted Groot, but uh, Jack Groot. the Ripper is good. Jack That's the Ripper. That's what yours looks like, is Groot. She was drawing Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah. All right, so... Okay. All right, so Dyla's Guppy said Jack the Ripper. t said Jack the Ripper, and there's delay. So so Dyla's Guppies and t give them a half a point. Because we got Andrew said Jack the Ripper on our side first. And I know there's probably a delay in the chat. Alright, I spelled that wrong then. Alright, so D I L A so half Tracy got half. And who else? Uh Tracy. Tracy Andrew. Okay. Dila. All right. Wild guess. <laughs> All right. Let's check the river. All right. Okay. All right. This one's going to be a little bit harder. I'm waiting to see how you do that one. But. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that part. Oh, I got to figure out how now? to draw it. Nice. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do that one. Okay. Okay, so this yeah, is that four one's words. Be good. That'll be easy. Yeah, this is four words. So it starts out with A O Let's see. A blank of blank. All right. So, Anja says, give my point to Buzzard because it helps me with getting it. <laughs> okay. So, she wants to give her points away to Richard. Wow. Phone have fun. She's, she was guess? waiting. No, she was waiting for a phone call. Oh, she'll, phone. she'll be okay. back. All right. So, A... Okay, it looked better before you do the lines in there. All right, so I'll take these lines. <laughs> All right, it did look better before I put it those did. lines in. <laughs> A bucket of blood, Richard. Good wow. job. <laughs> Great job. I didn't even draw the blood. I know. <laughs> yeah. All right, Angela said she would never have guessed that he helped her with Jack. So, all right. So, Anja now came in with Bucket of Blood as well. All right. Richard is on the ball. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're just going to move right on. This is four words. And the second word... Oh, man. It's hard to draw backwards. Did I draw that right? O N. Um. Close enough. Yeah. Close yeah. Enough. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Richard got it. House on a haunted hill. Dang, Richard, can I even draw him? 
All right, house on a haunted hill it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, good job, Richard. Richard's really, really good at this game. He was really good at another game, too. I can't remember which one it was. Do you remember which one it was? No. Richard, which one were you really good at besides this one? Because you were really good at another one, too. <sighs> Irish Whiskey 77 says computers have advantage. And Richard says, okay, I'll be slower on the next one. <laughs> Okay. Is that the one you're going to do? Yeah. Okay. But how do you draw the last one? Both and then not that one. Okay. I You'll help me when I get there. All right, so this next one, I guess I need to flip over. This next one is going to be four words, right? Where to go? Oh, yeah, four words. Okay. So we'll give you the third word. Oh, I hate drawing these backwards. Oh, okay. So four words. Are you watching? Mm -hmm. I haven't come up with anything yet. So, opposite of that? Is that what you said? Or you can do this. And it would be opposite. Opposite of that. Whoa, not so quick this time, are you, Richard? <laughs> he said he was going to give him more time. <laughs> he said he was going to go slower. This would be a gravestone. Okay, shh. You're not supposed to tell them what it's supposed to be. They're supposed to try to figure out what your pictures are. Did everybody leave? <laughs> well, Richard said he was going to give them more time, and everybody else just seems to be like, uh, let Richard get it. <laughs> Any guesses? Anybody? Anybody know what the first one is? I'll write it down. Wow, everybody left. <laughs> I dig the living. Okay, so you got not the, quite. Yeah, but he got the first one. You're getting there. I and he got this. This is living. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one right here, that one. Yeah. It's not dig. Close, very close. What are you doing? <laughs> he said. He said. There we go. That's how I roll. Got it. I That's bury the I living. There we go. I bury the living. So, um, 
Richard gets a half a point, and that's how I roll gets a full point. I bury the living. That was a hard one. All right, that's how I roll. It was me covering up the dead person, right, that helped you out? <laughs> Who wasn't really dead. <laughs> I need to erase my should, picture should we, should we? Should we tell him this? What's that? No. Okay. All right, let's find <laughs> another one. All right. You guys want more? You ready for more? You guys still here? <laughs> I don't you know. You do more if you want. It's like that one was like everyone just like nope. gone. I thought that one was going to be fairly easy. But oh well. I just tuned in and guessed. <laughs> All right. All right. You're supposed to like suck up to me and say yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so which one are you going to do next, dear? That one. That one should be really easy. You guys should have no problem with All this right, one. So this one is three words. All right, Andrew says more. This one's three words. And remember, we're doing titles from 50s, uh, 50s horror movies. So it's three words. We're going to give you the first one. You're getting good. Yeah, I won't be able to write when I go back to work. <laughs> I think Sean needs to be tested for dyslexia. <laughs> uh. Yes, that's what I said, Anja. Easy. This one's going to be easy. Not the blob. Everybody guess it? They think it's the blob or the ring. Can they see that? Yeah. Yeah, they can see it. I think mine doesn't look much like the thing, but I think mine would work better. All right, there you have it. <laughs> the something something. <laughs> sounds like. That would be good. Or it sounds like. Sounds like what? That. It's not a sound like. That is the thing. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, that's not that. Oh. See, that's why I'm drawn. She can't read. I, yeah, I totally, <laughs> totally missed that one. Can I make up a movie? <laughs> 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 <sighs> that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, the black sheep is close. Very, very close. Mary that's what I thought it was. read the last word. Yeah, so you got the first two words right. That's how I roll. So that's... Try again. This... What is this person doing? <laughs> the black... Do this next to them. I can't draw hands. I never could draw hands. That's why I'm not an artist. A sp ah, I, I screwed it up. I can't draw hands. The dark dreams. No. It's the black. Sounds like. <laughs> what the freak is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this person would be on here. This would be laying flat. That person would be laying flat. 
Dreaming. <laughs> so, so you guys are close. The dark dreams, the black. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. <sheep>, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> The black, the black count, count the, the black, black lagoon. lagoon. This looks like a lagoon. Who said that? <laughs> no. <Nope>. Tracy's back. <laughs> Not the blue lagoon either. Nope. So it's the black, and it's not sheep. The black knight. They no. may have not have heard of this before. Maybe. All right, All right, so I you gotta figure, gonna, gotta, gotta figure gonna something out. Gotta figure That's out. That's how Pictionary what? works. If they don't guess it, we win it. What? I don't know. I'll I've never it. played Pictionary I'm before. Crap up. I right. just know you're supposed to draw pictures. The black, the black dreamer. It's close, but dreamer doesn't rhyme with sheep. <laughs> it rhymes with sheep. It's not the black sheep. It's the black. What do you do when you close your eyes and you count sheep? <laughs> All right. Let me know if you guys give black up. Black sleep. The Hell black kitten. sleep. Hell kitten got it. Hell kitten wrote black sleep and Richard said the black sleep. The black sleep was correct. Uh, that's how I roll. All right. So. What are we doing here? Are we giving half well, to everybody? Well, we got the black something first. So, Hell the Black kitten. Knight. Hell Kitten. That's how our roll gets a half a point. Hell, gets a, Hell Kitchen gets a full point. And then Richard. Richard gets a should half have a get point. the full point. Okay, whatever. You're the judge. Well, Richard had the full three words. Hell Kitten only had two okay, of the Okay, whatever words. you want to do. Tracy finally comes it's in. Just for fun. Yeah, Tracy comes in. Never heard of it. 1956, The Black Sleep. All right. So Richard is still in the lead with one, two, three, four and a half. Wow. So, yeah, hi. That's how I roll and Hell Kitten. Wow, this is hard. This is hard. We'll do that one. Whatever. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for another one? This is going to be two words, and I'm going to give you one of them. So, we'll see who gets this. This one should go. I'm quick. not going to say it's easy anymore. <laughs> You tend to do that, Tracy. She says she's lagging big time. Just gives you a little bit more able to think about his uh his funny pictures. <laughs> You're probably going, what? Yeah. Where's those other colors So it could either be you? this or if you're Native American. Could be the maze. Something. There we go. All right. T-Throng. T-Throng got it. The Tracy. maze. The maze. The maze. 1953, The Maze. Yes. Hell Kitten said the labyrinth. I like 1950s, 60s horror movies, like the original ones. Yeah. The ones now, they just kind of make them just to make you pee yourself when you're I've at never, the thing. I've never really been a fan of horror movies, period. You don't like the original Frankenstein and Dracula and... Creature from the in, Black Lagoon. I and never all. got into them. Never got into them. <sighs> all right. 
What else you got? I don't know. You pick one. This one should be easy. <laughs> oh. Teeth wrong. Horror movies bore me now. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, you kind of like know just, you know, okay, something's coming. Prep yourself. Like the new Conjurings and stuff like that. and The Annabelle movie. Although they're good stories. I don't know. It's just like they make them so that people go, wah, and scream. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Angela really wants something scary. easy. <laughs> okay. This one should be easy, yeah, this one, right? Yeah, this one should be easy. Hopefully. That's what I said the last, the last time, one. though. Okay. <laughs> and just says they're laughing. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Shake it up. Shake it up. All right. So okay. three words. So this is three words. There's the middle word. All right. So this is... I'm getting, I'm getting a consult. They'll never guess what that is. That's horrible. Why aren't you drawing? Can you do that? I'm a horrible drawer. You used to be much better than me. That's because I can't do it like this. If it was over here. Face of death, sea of blood. Oh, okay. Okay, so you've got the oh, and then we got river. Well, this of is blood. the this All is right, the so first word. It's one word. This is first the one word. Okay, so it's blank of rain of fire. Blood of Dracula. Hell Kitchen got it. All right. Thank you, because I oh, didn't know what else to Oh, yours did look drunk. like mine. <laughs> yeah. Tears of blood. All right, so Hell Kitten got it. So Blood of Dracula. Very nice, very nice. Uh, so remember and... this symbol for blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it may appear again. <laughs> Tracy got it now too. To blood of Dracula. Tracy is. I guess I could use those behind colors. Behind schedule. I guess I could use. Yeah, the I color. gave I gave him like a whole color pack of markers as well. But they're thicker. I don't yeah, know. but the points I think should be usable. They're chisel points. Well, I'm going to tell you this, folks. Although I'm a computer guy, there is no way I'd be able to do this on a mouse. I can't draw on the mouse anymore. I used to be able to, but yeah, like sometimes, like our thumbnails when we cut things out, I have to have Marianne do it because I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> it's easy. They said you will have no problems. They said, lol. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. I thought that that one would be easy. The blood and then the Dracula. You know, how could you go wrong with Dracula? <laughs> What was what were you asking me? That one. How would you do that? Oof, I have no idea. I'm looking Oh, oh, I know. Oh, you can't use any letters, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can't use any letters though, huh? I don't know. We can ask the we can ask the uh we can ask the people, are we allowed to use letters? Can we use letters? Can we use one letter? <laughs> if you let us use one letter, this should be easy. <laughs> Revenge of the ant people. <laughs> We're going to use letters. I don't care. All right, one, one letter. So it's it's one letter. four words. 
Okay. The blank of... Blank. The blank of blank. Okay. The blank of blank. <laughs> Use all letters. <laughs> that was that was his eyebrow oh his eyebrow should be about here okay give him an ear and then give him a nice big old thought bubble <laughs> oh i gotta write that backwards yeah you're good and then just do the blank of the blood of the moon <laughs> That's not blood. <laughs> <laughs> the blank of... Eyebrow of death. <laughs> I can't see. We're not seeing it. Not seeing it? Oh, because my hand's in the way. No, because you didn't put it over. You, oh, they're showing, you're man. showing us. You're showing us. Oh. <laughs> that explains man. a lot on this yeah, one. Why aren't they guessing? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. The children of the corn. No. <laughs> the what? Why is it three letters? The Curse of Frankenstein. Yeah. All right. So Richard and Tracy. The what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sitting here drawn away and like, oh, I didn't flip the screen over. Oh, dear. <laughs> Why isn't Bill playing? <laughs> I don't know. Why isn't Bottle Caps playing? Yeah, Bottle Caps wanted us to do Ghostly Pictionary. Ben Chavez, hello. Hello, Ben. We're playing uh, 1950s horror movie title Pictionary. <clears throat> so... If you want to join in, and if I flip the right screen over... <laughs> Richard says he likes this game. <laughs> That's because well, Richard's see, what's really cool good about at this, this game. What's cool about this game is we could do 60s or 70s or pick some other titles or something or whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, that one's kind of creepy. We'll do that one. Got to do creepy. All right, so this one's kind of creepy, folks. And, yeah, it's creepy. You are doing the three-word one, right? Yeah, three words. Okay. First word is the. Oh, look, you put the words on, or the picture on this time. Shit it. <laughs> the. What are we doing for dinner, by the way? I don't know. We didn't decide that. Although I have some raviolis. We can, no, he doesn't want raviolis. He turned his nose up at that. Um, okay. All right, so this time. So it's three words. Not that, but that. The ring. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> and Anjo says, it's going to be easy. No worries. <laughs> The wolf man. Nope. Is that a hand? <laughs> it's a chicken leg. Oh, it's a chicken leg. The father of the children of the corn. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so we'll separate it right here. It's the blank blank. <laughs> it's not this, but this. He's doing something to that chicken leg. I'm never right. She's even going to correct my doodles. <laughs> or, um, let's see, that and then... All right, well, I want to get something here. The daddy eater. The man eater. Did I draw that right? No. That's the not the symbol. Chicken. That's not the symbol for man. No. No, the symbol for man is this. Well backwards so it should look like this then that's a funky man yeah 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 the purple people eater the zombie chicken <laughs> so we've got the blank hell kitchen eater clothes. the woman eater hell kitchen hell kitten hell kitten the woman eater you hell got kitten. it the woman eater hell kitten got it the Woman Eater. The Woman came Eater. Came out in 1957, I think. I think it was 1958. Oh, 57. maybe, yeah, 57. 1957. The Woman The eater, Woman Was Hungry. <laughs> the Male Chicken. The, the Woman Was Hungry. Okay, Hell Kitten got it. <laughs> oh, my. All right, so uh, will you come up with the next one? We got one, two, three. Four, five and a half for Richard. One, two, three, four, five for Tracy. Three for Hell Kitten. Uh, one and a half for Angel. One and a half, that's how I roll. And half for Dila. <laughs> Is that a real movie? Yes, yeah. apparently 1957, so. 1957, The Woman Eater, starring <laughs> George Sanders. <laughs> Hmm. How about that one? I was thinking of that, or thinking of that. Okay. All right, you guys ready for the next one? B five. <laughs> 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 Wrong week there, Richard. <laughs> Brownies. <laughs> oh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> oh, oh leftovers from from Richard. <laughs> All right, so which one are you gonna do? I don't know now. Oh, I'm so gosh. confused. <laughs> B five. <laughs> we do that one. Okay. All right. Three words. Three words. <sighs> <laughs> Why don't you draw the third word? Make it easy on him. Okay, the third word. <laughs> Am I on screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're good. <laughs> put, put my chicken leg back. <laughs> okay. Where's your chicken leg? It's coming. Okay, it's there. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Jesus Murphy. <laughs> I don't think so. You could do it. You could do it. Ew. What do you mean, ew? That so doesn't look like anything. Let's see. The blank blank. The peanut The brain eater. eater. The brain eater. Irish. Oh, let's see. We got everybody. Anja, Irish whiskey, hell kit. Mm, no, that's how I roll. Who'd the booger have? eater. <laughs> Anja, I Anja have Anja was had the it first. Yeah, Anja's the brain eater first. Yeah, so Anja got that one, and then we have Anja brain eater Irish whiskey. Ooh, Irish whiskey. This is the first point for him. The booger eater. The bee meter. I didn't think that looked anything like a brain, you guys. Yeah, I was wrong. She was over here drawing a I better brain. I was drawing brain. a much better brain. I'll show you my brain here in a second here, as soon as I mark these all down. So that was Irish whiskey. And who else? Anja and how was it Hell Kitten? No. Hell Kitten? No, that's how I roll. Hell Kitten right. got the bean eater. That's how I roll is the brain eater. All right. See, I thought that this was a much better brain. She thought her brain was better. It's just upside down upside now. Down. See, she's a better doodler than I am. You're a better drawer. <sighs> Alright. All right. <laughs> Irish whiskey gives his point to Hell Kitten. <laughs> I All love right, so it. We'll everybody that. here is always giving away their points to everybody else. <laughs> so we'll do that one that you said next. They ate a lot in the movies in the 50s. <laughs> Ooh, you know what would have been better? Yeah. My coasters. Should have just did that. My coasters. <laughs> is that is that real? No. I keep asking that, but I think no. you're wrong. No, it's not it's it's fake. Pretty sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm positive. I was thinking maybe from some animal because they're different shapes. Yeah. But this these are not. They're not real. Who knows? You like my coasters, don't you? If they stack they stack up. So you got all the little brain pieces. Goes right through. See all the different layers. Brains. <laughs> Brains. <laughs> Tracy says, there she goes. Yeah. I have to creep you out somehow, right? All right. <laughs> Joanne says her internet is in you and should, out. You should see how we dust. We just get the, the power blower. <laughs> 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 Okay, right. which one are we doing now? Uh, I forgot. This one. That one? This one? Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Ready for the next one? How many was that so far? One, two, three, four, five. That's not how it is. That. So it's one, two, three, four, five, oh. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This wow, will be number 13. thirteen. This will be number thirteen. All right. Here we go. <laughs> you know, I also have brain uh, bookends. We don't care. Sorry. <laughs> three words. And we're not giving you any of them. You have to guess all three. N which means that none of them are the, of, and, you yeah. know. I could do a better one this time. <laughs> Shut up. Shuddy. I love you, dear. Is it, do I have the screen on? This yeah, time? you have the screen on this time. Man, I felt bad making fun of Andrew doing this. <clears throat> Who? Andrew and Pusha Studios. They were doing it on a computer. His were horrible. Oh, I thought I thought that uh, doesn't Ksenia usually do them? They take turns. Oh. All right, so there's Black part of it. Black cat fleas. 
The crazy teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Richard has two words. And just says Cujo. All right, so you remember when I did the house? Oh, gosh, don't give them tips. This was supposed to be an easy one. <laughs> Smokey the bear. <laughs> this is hard. Black dog cabin. Oh, it's not a cabin. We'll put multiple chimneys on the top. I was going to say put lots of this on top. Okay. The black cat in the house. I know those are backwards, but I'm not going to try to do an S backwards. <sighs> black cat house. Black dog schoolhouse. Black cat hotel. <laughs> okay, so that's black cat what's that it's not a house it's bigger than a house show off oh uh, yeah I guess a dollar sign does have two lines yeah it does black cat in black cat hotel mansion are you saying Black Cat Mansion? Irish Whiskey. Irish Black Cat whiskey, whiskey. Got it. Mansion. Yep. Black Irish Whiskey. Cat mansion. Good job, Irish. Irish Whiskey. Black Cat Hostel. <laughs> Black Cat Hostel. <laughs> All right. So Black Cat Mansion came out in 1958. Black Cat Bank. <laughs> good thoughts. Good thoughts. All right. Gift to Hellcat. <laughs> oh, which one shall we do next? Ooh. I don't know, how do you do that? You want me to do that one? Yeah, you do that one. Okay. All right, so we're going to switch seats here for a second. And Marianne's going to draw this next one. Do we have to switch seats? Or do you just no, want to pull I can. back? You can, I could do it. All right, so it it's backwards. two two words. Two words. You got to do it backwards. <clears throat> First word. Well, the f first, first part of first the first part word. of that is the first. Part. Yeah, and then let's see. The frick is that? What are you doing? Voodoo Island. Yes. Voodoo Island. Richard. Did you get that? Richard got that one. Nice. See, I was in the middle of drawing my island. <laughs> okay, I was looking at, at the one above that. Oh, no. See, I had it written down already. All right, so we're going to do a lightning one. Lightning? Row easy. <laughs> you guys ready? Let's see if you guys can get this one. Real simple. Watch this. Here we go. <laughs> Richard says he owns half of these movies. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Done.
Oh my gosh, come on, people. <laughs> Voodoo man, no. no. I keep telling you that's not the symbol for man. <laughs> <laughs> Voodoo woman, hell There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Voodoo woman. Oh, I just lost my scroll. Where did it go? <laughs> Irish whiskey says Voodoo queen. All right. So Helkin got that. How I roll gets a half there. How I roll gets a half. Voodoo lollipop. <laughs> Hell kitten, I typed faster than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> all scroll right. Down. Scroll down. Scroll down? Did that not get it no, all the way? No, the screen. Oh, the screen? Okay. <clears throat> all right. All right, ready? Yeah. This next one is going to be, where is is Anya? This is Anja. super easy. It's one word. Oh, my. One Which one? word. Which one? Is it this one? Yes. One word. Should be super easy. Somebody's super, guessing. super, super easy. How do you see guesses? I, I saw the scroll over here. Listening, but I have to put supper on. Richard says it's ants. Ant just says, sure. <laughs> Monster, blood, horror. That's it. Ring. Ring. <laughs> Mother. Dracula. Hell's kitten. Hell kitten. Hell kitten got it. Hell kitten. Dracula. 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 I want to suck your blood. <laughs> Or we could do the count. One, ah, 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 ah. two, <laughs> ah, 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 ah. three. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> How would you do that? Or did we do that one? No, we didn't do that one. Do it, erase it, do it again. <laughs> that's how I would do it. Is that what you're going to do? No. No? You could do it. You, no, that's you okay. It. Oh, that's all right. You did a lovely one. You should have did it before you did that. Yeah. We'll bring it back. Bring it back later. Okay. Did we do that one? Uh, no. Let's see here. Uh, Pusha Studios has joined us. We're trying to do some Pictionary. We're doing uh, 50s horror movie title Pictionary. Yes. And let's just say our skills are not good. <laughs> no. They are horrible. <laughs> I keep saying, well, this one's going to be easy. This one's going to be easy. And they're like, yeah, okay, right, whatever. <laughs> uh, Wait, I just saw one. I don't know where it went. Ooh, that one looks good. I was just going to say that one. Okay, we'll do okay, that Okay, do that one. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Uh, okay, so you get the first word. Pusha Studio says that they were sleeping. Sleep? Yeah, What's that? She's not, she's not feeling good. Yeah. I wasn't feeling good yesterday either, so. All right, so. <laughs> Are you thinking? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it well, looked I like don't your wanna, brain stopped. I don't want it. It's not cursing. So I'll tell you that right now. Oh, wait. I know what I'll do. Okay. Okay. Uh, Pusha Studio says that they sent you a Twitter message. Check it after. Yes. Don't worry, the quiz is easy, Angie says. <laughs> yes, I feel better. How about you? You feeling a little bit better? Okay, this is loud. All right, Angie says the ring. Loud. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think the ring came out in like what the nineties or two thousands. It's not the ring. <laughs> All right, this one is three words. The first word is the. Okay, Angie says the scream. Hell Kitten says the scream. Okay, so we're getting good. You're doing good there, sweetie. This one's a good one. I'm proud of you. And got to do the. Oh, you did. Okay, good. Nice. The screaming skull. Hell Kitten. The screaming skull. There you go. Good job. All right. Hey, uh, Richard, Hell's Kitten, I think, is caught up, catch a cup. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Richard is only winning by a half a point now. Hell's Kitten has really come back. Kind of like I did last week in Battleship. <laughs> so the Screaming Skull it was. Oh, Tracy. Tracy gets it half a point there. Andrew gets a half a point there. The screaming Boris. <laughs> I love it. Close game. It sure is. Do you want me to share this? I don't care. Ooh. Okay. Wow, that's a big one. Wait, how do you get to it? So you have to type that in. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see here. I want to bow around my point. <laughs> Is the blob on the list? I don't know. I have to look. We'll have to check it out. Okay, so I'm going to post another link. If you guys remember, we talked about Abraxas a little bit ago. Uh, here's another link. It looks like uh, a GoFundMe was set up. Yes. And uh, I will put that down in the description as well. I don't think I could do that right now while we're live. Yeah, I'm not sure that you can do it. I don't know. Live. Pusa, can we do that? Pusa, can you update the live stream? I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully it doesn't kick you guys off. I don't want to well, do that. Well, let's just wait then. We'll just wait. I'll leave it up and I'll put it in okay. later. Okay. But, okay. Pusa just sent me that. Thank you. All right. All right. The blob. Was it on the list? Hmm. No. Must not have came out in the 50s. Oh, you put well, blog. Nope. Nope. Must not have came out in the 50s. Could have been 60s. All right, you I gotta can, find but one. I usually don't, so it doesn't mess up just in case. That's yeah. what I said. I I totally agree. <laughs> okay. Wow, I can't believe you guys could still see that because it's getting dark for me. Really? Yeah. I could still see it too. I'm I'm watching that too. I'm trying to multitask. Oh wow! How would you draw that? Ugh, I don't know that how you would do that one. Um. Ooh, how about? Why don't you draw it, if you know how. Here, Marianne's going to do this one. Let's see. So you should give them uh, what was a. Uh, we should give them those words. Yeah. All right, here we go for the next one. Oh, I can't do an S backwards. Maybe I can. Was a. Uh. All right, it's four words. Those are two we gave you. All right, so. Yeah. So not that was a. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor clowns from Mars. <laughs> no. Color in the black hair. <laughs> what the frick is that? 
Uncle was a vampire. Yep. Nice. Got it. All right. Richard, there we go. There we go. Up by a point and a half now. So you liked my not the aunt? Yeah. Not aunt. So if it was But wasn't uncle aunt. <laughs> was a vampire. Yeah. That's pretty cool. No ants for Dracula. <laughs> yeah, no ants for Dracula. Uncle was a vampire. Excellent. Richard, do you have that one? Richard says that he has like most of these. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we could, we could tell them where we're getting these from. Help sure, them out. why not? So basically, I just went to Wikipedia, and I looked up 50 horror movies. So they're, all the titles are in, on Wikipedia. But, you know, then you're like Richard that has all of them probably on a shelf, and he's just looking over at them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you do the like first half. Oh, no, just do the first half, okay. and then and do the second half is like this. Do the second half is like this. Okay. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Here we Pusha go. Pusha Studio says, now that it will make it easier. And uh, Aunt just says her face hurts from laughing. <laughs> We do make fools of ourselves, that's but that's do. all right. If we can't laugh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Which one were we doing again? I lost. This one. Okay. All right. So you get one word, and it's three words. So it's blank of blank. Okay. He's getting really good at these. <laughs> All right, you got the, the second part? Yeah. Okay. House of Horrors. No. Paragnostic. That's. Who said that? No, that's, that's a who big came word. in. Oh, okay. They're Hello, new. Paragnostic. Hello. Well, I've never heard of them before. Me either. I'll have to check them out. Yes. Um, House of Horrors. Everybody says House of Horrors. House of Mirrors. House of Wax, Hell Kitten. There Hell we kitten go. Hell Kitten got it. Hell Kitten. House of Wax, Paragnostic got it as well. House Late. of Rockets. <laughs> <laughs> the House of Rockets. Does my, my candle look like a rocket? Yeah, my candle looked better. Her candle looked better. I don't know. Where, you guys can't see mine because they're upside down because I'm drawing on the board that I'm writing everything else on. House of Wax. House of Wax. All right. When did that come out? 1953. 1953. That's crazy. Is that the one where all the, the, pe the people were actually making the wax figures but they weren't wax figures. They were just I don't dipping know. Ask people. Richard. He probably owns it. <laughs> they were just dipping know. like people in remember. wax and pretending they were wax figures. Is that the House of Wax? There's a movie like that that I watched as a kid and it kind of creeped me out. And I guess that's probably why I don't watch it anymore. But Richard Green Boris Carl. Oh, see. Oh, that's this. This. Is well, this where'd it go? Boris the House Carla. of Wax. Oh. Vincent uh, Price, Vincent. House of Wax. Yes, I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Vincent Price. Richard says awesome. yes, and yes, I do. <laughs> Fits and Price is awesome. All these guys, these old guys, I love these movies. Boris Karloff, Fits and Price. I remember watching that one as a kid, and, I, and then, like, wax museums kind of creep me out. Because mm. <laughs> I'm like, they look really real. Look at their eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. They're supposed to be a, um, a, a bride. I believe it's, it's in one of the... Um, Caribbean areas. There's supposed to be a bride at a shop, and a bridal shop. She's in a wedding gown. She's a bride. She died, 
and supposedly this is her still in her wedding gown, but other people say she's a wax figure. And whenever I see, I can't remember which one it is, but whenever I see anything about that, I always think of that movie, that it was like the real people dipped in wax. How often do you see things about this <laughs> potentially human remains of a bride in a bridal <laughs> shop? I've uh, never heard this really? before. How I, often have you seen it? Like you said, four times. Every time I see like it. Like I've seen it like four times. They have pictures. I've seen I'm pictures so of it and everything. Folks, Let me. I live with this. <laughs> I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> it's not can a you man. Draw that? It's not a mannequin. Can you draw that? Uh, ooh, I don't know. Um, I could try. Let's see. Well, why don't you draw it on here so they can see them? <laughs> I don't right, know. He doesn't, do it next it looks more. It looks more like a hydra than it looks like anything else. <laughs> I was going to do that too, but that's okay. That I'll thing draw looks one. like it's flipping you off too. <laughs> All right, so Marianne's going to do this next one. Okay. So you get uh, it's four words. So you get of the. Oh, I got to write this down too. Okay. All right. So this one. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is not coming out well at all. Um, we'll just do this. And we'll do this. Man, she's got a huge neck. <laughs> okay, so do we get the first word? Not the queen. No. Um... Just go on to the next one. Okay. Um, you guys will never guess. You'll never guess this one because I'm having trouble with, I had trouble with this. Yeah, I, I thought, thought that one would be. <laughs> I did too. Okay, we got bride. Okay, so the bride. It's not probably what they're thinking either. Bride of the Frankenstein. No. Nope. Oh, wait, somebody got it. Somebody got it? Yep. Wait, let me let me look up. Okay, we have Queen of the Dead, Bride of the Dead, Bride of the Monster, Bride of the Bride of the Frank Bride of the Gorilla. It was Bride of the Gorilla. Yes. Oh, you were doing pretty good drawing that gorilla. All right, so Bride that goes to Hell Kitchen, right? Hell Kitchen. Is it Hell yep. Kitchen? Hell Kitten. One, Hell two, kitten. three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Bride six, of Sa seven. Sasquatch. Hell <laughs> Kitten just took the lead by a half a point. Uh oh. Oh, Richard, Richard, my man. <laughs> Bride of John Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> Bride of the Gorilla. Bride of the Gorilla is what it was. Fusha Studios thought it was the werewolf. <laughs> oh. So did Teeth Wrong. <laughs> did we do that one? Yet? Bride of Monster. Uh, no. Okay. Is that what we're going to do next? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to do a couple more. Where were we at? Do we have a tie? No. Uh, we Hell, Hell Kitten just pulled into the lead with a half a point. Richard's been in the lead the whole time. So Hell Kitten's leading Richard yes, by half, by a, half point. a point now. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
Hellkitten said, I never knew that was a movie either. <laughs> Gorilla? That's wrong. <laughs> Oh, that's all right, Inspired John. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Where's the ghost movies? We have, a, we have an open door policy that's here. That's right. Come and go like Come a revolving door. Come and go door. as you please. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So this next one is three words. Yes. We'll give you the first one. Mm-hmm. Pam's Great Outdoors at Ventures has joined us too. Hello welcome, to you welcome, as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Into the woods with Wolfie. Hello. Glad you stopped by. I think pretty much that's what everybody's doing is just guessing tonight. <laughs> the mummy. No. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it is. What the heck is that? <laughs> I know what it is, guys, and I can't tell what it Shut is. Shut it. Jeez, oh, man. <laughs> oh, we got it. Hell Kitten, the Black Castle. Black Castle. And that's how I roll as well. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Hell Kitten. That's how I roll. The Black Castle. And Dover Paratech. And Irish Whiskey. All right. All kinds of cool names, new names. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> the Black Forks. <laughs> All right, for those of you joining us for the first time, because some of those names that were in here. Uh, yeah, J&C Fishing is here. If you haven't, Inspire go ahead. John says, OMG. <laughs> How are we doing on the thumbs up? Uh, we have. So we're donating some. all the thumbs up to uh, Polynesian uh, Logger. Logger. So if you haven't hit that thumbs up, go ahead and smack it right now. Subscribe to our channel, all that fun stuff. You guys know the routine, but when this is done processing, if you guys are new, please come back and, well, everybody, just come back and leave some sort of comment, whether you like this or not, Yeah. and we'll do it again later and pick other titles, but if you're new, please make sure you come back and leave a comment so we can check your channel. Yes, on. and I think they should uh, say what their favorite horror movie is. Ooh, your favorite horror movie. Yeah. So when this is done processing, come back and leave it or can you leave a comment now because we got a comment i don't know i don't know that you can uh, uh have you ever seen the cha the changeling the changeling i have not is that changeling that's an that's a movie i don't think we have seen it you know what so. to be honest with you uh, uh marianne and i aren't real big horror movie fans we don't watch them that much. We watch um, ones that we know are like based off of uh, true stories. Yeah, true stories like The Conjuring or the Amityville Horror. Or all the Conjurings are cool, um, but you know, I like the older ones. I used to like at Halloween time. I would like to watch like you know the old Frankenstein and. Whose studio stuff, says so. Perfumer, and Anja says I love Christopher Lee Dracula. Yeah. How about but 80s movies be. with Michael J. Fox <laughs> inspired be. John? Can't be Boris Carla. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we could do. Ghost movie. They want, they want a ghost movie. I don't know that there was a ghost movie in the in the 50s here. I didn't see any listed. Did you? All right. We'll try that one. Which one? Okay. No, I don't see any ghost movies. A lot of voodoo. I didn't even see the word haunted anyway. Well, no, we had one that was haunted because I drew a ghost. Mm -hmm. The haunted house on the hill or something. Uh, oh, let's do this one. Which one? But huh. I, don't, I don't know how to. Okay, I thought you were going to do this one, but that's okay. Oh, I'll do that one first. You already wrote it down. I wrote it down, but that's okay. Okay, so how did you say to do the, the first word? We give them these put two? It, put it, take it away, put it back. Okay, Mary Ann's going to draw this next one. <laughs> lies. <laughs> All right, so you're going to give them uh, the, the two in the middle, right? It's four words. So. Oh, Braxis is back, 
and his phone is charged again. House on a Haunted Hill was done in 1959 for the first time. Yeah, I think we did that one earlier. Yeah, I did. Because yes, that Richard yes. yelled it real House quick before Haunted I drew the hill. Yeah. hill. Yes, and, and you were like, let me finish drawing. Dude, let me finish. All right. Yeah. So. Old school brain eating zombies. <laughs> All right. That's well, good to hear, Braxis. <clears throat> it's very good to hear, my friend. What the frick is that? Well, I drew a smiley face first, then I erased it, and then I put the hair. They should understand that one now, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then I got to do... Um, the Blair Witch Project. No. Really enjoy... Oh, let me go back up. Better push it next for asking. Hi from West Virginia. Sandy Wolf Lit. All right. Really enjoyed the Gettysburg trip. Well, thank you very much. We enjoyed it too. Dove Paratech. Back from, from the Dead. Yes. Who Boom. said that? Dover. Dover. Woo! Back from the Dead. Got it. Nailed it. All right. Have to go, guys. My family is hungry. All right, Tracy. Yeah. Thank you for stopping by. I'm Sean's starting probably to get getting a hungry, bit. too. My big ones are starting to eat the little ones. Tracy, you had one, two, three, four, five points, Tracy. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Black Widow from the Dead. How I roll. F. Bride of the Dead. <laughs> See you, oh, Tracy. Casper. <laughs> Bride of the Dead. Casper. All right. All right. Which one are you going to do this one? Is that the one you said? Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't know, know how, how you would do, do that either. All right. We're going to do one more. And it, if it's the one he's going to say, it's going to be hard. No. Because <laughs> I don't even know how to draw it. So okay. Hard. So scratch that. Uh, Dover Paratech says that they are 30 minutes from Gettysburg. 30 minutes. That's awesome. You go there a lot. I would if I was only 30 minutes away. It'd be like going to work. You do that one. Okay. Can you do it? All right, Marianne's going to do this last one. Okay. It's uh, well, two let me words. Flip over. Let me flip over. It's two words and you don't get any free ones. So here we go. Sid Hart. Sid, welcome to the morning. I know it's morning for you. So he says, sorry, my Wi-Fi not working anytime it, it can go. That's okay, bud. We're just glad you were able to pop on and check in, and we know you're okay. But stuff like that happens. What really sucks is when our Wi-Fi doesn't work when <laughs> we try to go live. <laughs> That's a part that really sucks. So, have Dover Paratech, have you been to Gettysburg in the fall? Is it less busy? Oh, that's how I roll. Thanks, guys. Have to go. Thank you for being here. That's how I yes. roll. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Braxis says the mummy's curse. or The mummy, no. Irish Whiskey says mummy's curse, no. So, this part you got. This part you didn't. So that's not a mummy. Pharaoh's Curse, Irish Whiskey. There Irish we go. Irish Whiskey got it. Pharaoh's Curse. And Sandy Wolflit said King Tut. That's who I was trying to draw because he was a pharaoh. So I was going for that. So, woo. All right. Uh, August, after August, not too bad, he says. All right. So let's see what the final results say here. We have. Hell's Kitten with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 points. Richard with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a half points. And third place, 
I think is Tracy. Tracy, one, two, three, four, five points. One, two, three, yep. So first place was Hell Kitten, second place was Richard, and third place was Tracy. Know. First place is Hell, Hell Kitten. Kitten. Second place was Richard. Uh, at, I guess I should ba put. B, at B, B, O. Those are, there you go, up at the top. And third place was Teeth Rotten. All right. All right. So congratulations to our top three. So did you guys like the... <laughs> Hey, Sean, Marianne, Donnie Shaw Show. Hello, Donnie, Donnie Shaw, Shaw Show. Donnie Shaw, how are you doing, buddy? All right, so uh, getting a lot of people come in. If you guys want to win a T-shirt, which we'll be drawing for next week, and Donnie's here. Donnie, you did win a T-shirt. We just we haven't got everything shipped out yet. Um, did we get his shirt size? I can't remember. Yes, I think we did. We did. Okay. Yeah. Um, but if you guys want to win a T-shirt... We'll be drawing it on next week's show. So here's how you go in it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and smash that um, subscribe button. Hit the bell. <laughs> Send us proof to panicdvideos at gmail.com. In the subject, put hashtag 018. If you're already a parapeep, you don't have to send us proof. Just send us an email and say, hey, I want a shirt. With hashtag 018, make sure you give us your shirt size and your address. If you win, next week we'll draw that name and send you out a T-shirt. Yes. So Angie says, "Can you can you please mention my one point?" <laughs> Actually, Angie, you got three points. You got two of them right uh, first, and then you got two of them Who right won later 16? on. Who um, won We had three winners on number sixteen. Uh, Sid Harth, who, the stuff from Gettysburg. The stuff from Gettysburg. Sid Harth and that. Oh, Reagan. I thought that was seventeen. I think the one... 16, 16 to 17 was, we did together. That's why we drew three. Oh. Okay. Um, the Gettysburg stuff we had... Oh, let me get this here. We had uh, Annette Reagan won a bullet. Uh, Sid Harth won a piece of a witness tree. Uh, Mona won a piece of the Will's house, a, brick, a piece of a brick from there. Uh, Andrew won a musket ball. Um, oh, we drew five. Andrew Kitchens, yep. And then uh, Gettysburg Address and Will's Body Removal poster was PSPR. Your name was in there, Pusha, but... You, you didn't, didn't win this up. time. We had a lot of them for that. Yeah, a, a lot, lot of people them. wanted those. Yeah. But don't worry, I have extras, so they will come up again. <laughs> yeah. They'll be in, uh, we'll have some uh, some of that stuff in the big drawing. We already mentioned earlier that one of those items in that big drawing is going to be uh, uh, a traveling boars. Yes, yes. Yeah, so we got some more traveling boars. These we're going to, mm -hmm. part of our giveaways. Uh, next week, folks, we're going to wing it. We're not going to do a location next week. Uh, this is my last week of vacation. Then I get to go back to hell. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh but we got tagged to do a lemon challenge. We're going to do that. We got something we're doing with Yankee. Mm -hmm. um, I want to do I, I want to do that one that we told you guys where we go out and Harvey and show you Harvey and uh, show you the equipment, explain what an ovulus is, and explain a spirit box because uh, most of you guys saw our investigation video out there. If you haven't, go check it out because it was the most crazy paranormal investigation we've had as far as activity but i know some of you guys aren't into paranormal investigation you probably don't know what a spirit box is and a k2 meter and all that stuff so we're going to do that we're going to do that out in harvey because we don't turn those things on in our house we know better not to do that and because i don't want to bring anything in here and so we might do a video about that so we're just going to have fun next week and just have fun type vlogging type videos and then once i go back to work we'll get back into the location mode what i'm hoping to do is get caught up so i have 
Before we went to Chicago, I had like three weeks ahead. I was that ready. That is true. That is because true. Because when that's, once I go back to work, probably that first week back, if not longer, maybe a couple weeks, I'm probably going to be a little bit MIA from making videos and being on social media and stuff like that. Cause yeah, so maybe I'll have to go live by myself one day or something. Well, no, that's a Saturday. Saturdays will be fine. Saturday but be fine. we're talking okay. probably 60, 70 hour work weeks for the first couple of weeks yeah. to get the school back up. Yes, and especially uh, since you're going back only like 10 days before the rest of the staff, and that includes weekends. So yeah, hopefully... Yeah. Yeah, I got. Can, uh, I have uh, no. Hopefully, my guys have been working, but I did lose a guy. Actually, the twenty seventh was it? Yesterday was his last day. Okay. Um, I have eight hundred and sixty some computers to make sure they're up and running in ten days. Plus, I don't know how many Chromebooks we have now. Yeah. God awful. So, might have to put some sixty seventy hour work in. And of course, I'm salary so. <laughs> My job description is make sure it's working. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. yeah. All right. So we have some things here happening in the chat room. So Donnie might be a millionaire or something. I don't know because he hasn't checked his lotto ticket yet. So he needs to do that. Uh and Pusha Studio says, Donnie Shaw Show, got to play to win. And that's my problem, too. I never play either. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Pusha Studio says they got just got the exorcism of Emily Rose, but not sure they're okay to watch it alone. What do you think? Uh, that's not a bad movie, actually. Um, I don't think it would be a problem for you to watch it alone. No. No. You'll be all right. You'll be yeah, okay. That one's not that bad. I, I've seen parts of that one. I don't think I've seen no, the whole thing. No, we watched it. I don't think oh, I you saw probably the whole thing. I probably fell asleep because I have a tendency to do yeah. that on movies. But, yeah, um, yeah it should be okay. And that then, one is based on a true case, though. Just not the freak you out a little bit because that's why I know it. I've watched it. Right. <clears throat> um, and then Richard would like to know what a Divic box is. A what? The Divic box. Is that the thing that, um, uh, what's his name, purchased... Um, from Ghost Adventures. I don't know. Isn't that that box that, like, everybody who owns it, that opens it up, dies or something like that? Is that well, what that I one is? I don't want one of them. Because What's I up? think, to be honest, I think that he just tweeted out, should I open it up? Should I open up just a little bit? Maybe it's not. I don't know. You go, you go ahead and uh, think about that for a little bit. I, thought, I think it may be maybe that. I'm not sure. I've never heard of that. You before. haven't heard of that? I thought that's what. I thought there was a case where like everybody who owned that like box, they all died or something. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's. I can't I explain that because I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, it's not even coming up on. Are you sure you're spelling that right? It's not even coming up on the Google. Oh, Irish whiskey says Dibic. Uh, it means demon. And I think, yeah, because I just think, I, I, I really want to say that, that that he has it now. Trapped demon in a box. Bad spirits. They're bad spirits. Do not open. How do you spell that? Um, Irish whiskey put D-I-B-I-K. Yeah, that's not coming up either. Do, um, uh, what's a ghost adventures guy? Uh, Zach. Zach Bagan's Dybbuk box. Do that. Add that to it. There you go. Oh, D-I-B-B-U-K. D-I-B-B-U-K. You know stuff I oh, don't look. know. Oh, look. Dover just said D-Y-B-B-U-K, so that's pretty close. Uh, uh, Zach yeah. Bagan's acquires the infamous Dybbuk box from Haunted Museum. Ooh. Say she knows more than I do. So okay, explain so that, what right. it is. I, it, I just remember there was something about everybody who's ever owned that box has and has opened it, they died. So the word Dybbuk means demon? Uh, apparently, yeah. Uh, Donnie Shaw so shows says throw box. it away. So there is one box called the, the Dybbuk, Dybbuk box. box. Yeah, I want it. Now, see, I they're spelling it D-Y-B-B-U-K. I really want to say that uh, he had okay, like a I show about this. it I a couple years ago. Yeah, I remember this. But to be honest... 
I okay. think recently he just asked yeah. his fans if he should open it or not. Yeah, why would you open it? Dover Paratex said, I'd love to see the museum. It's a wine box. Um, Hell Kitten, you're supposed to bury them to get rid of it safely from what I've heard. And I believe that this Dibbuk box that he got was buried and then somehow he acquired it. I just remember seeing one of his shows. About yeah, it. it says right here, Zach Bagans acquires the infamous Dybbuk box for the Haunted Museum. I All right. I have to look into that. Yes. It was an item originally put up for sale the, on eBay the, by Kevin Mannix in 2001. The Dybbuk box, Dybbuk box is a wine cabinet which is said to be haunted by a Dybbuk. A Dybbuk is a restless... Unusually malicious spirit believed to be able to haunt and even possess the living. So Irish Whiskey says there's more than one box. And Hell Kitten said Omar oh Gosh TV bought one too. And, I don't want uh, one. <laughs> see, I was right. You're not Sandy, allowed to buy that on no, eBay. No, I don't want one of those. Sandy Wolf Lit said that, yes, the man that owned it had it buried. See, I thought so. Um, and she said they're sealed with wax. Well, Anybody there probably was a reason why info? they were. Yeah, but I thought there was only one. So they're saying there's more than one. Why would people make more than one? <laughs> well, maybe that's how they would trap the, the demonic. The Possession 2012 is a movie about it, says Dover Paratech. So we'll All right, write that check down. that one out. i got to get my real pen instead of my... Uh, we'll have to look one. into this. Yeah. The Possession. All right. There looks like there was a book, too, by Jason Haxton published in 2011 about it so that's possible what they based a the movie off of i would assume mm -hmm. <clears throat> i don't want one i don't want one either i'm gonna erase these <laughs> something it that would I be actually cool somebody have. did mention zach vegan's museum that would be kind yeah of cool i would love to go there, there. that's Check vegas baby out. I know that's the problem. I don't. I've never wanted to go to Vegas. You but get now Mr. There's a Donnelly things. in Vegas. You know he's going to be doing some gambling. I'll give you a budget, and I'll take away all your other money, and then I'll go and I'll go find something to buy. <laughs> She's the one. My last name's Donnelly. It was originally O'Donnelly, so I have Irish and Native American descent on my father's side. And German Welsh on my mother's side. But uh, the Donnelly blood is very, very uh, susceptible to gambling and drinking. And my wife is the one that keeps me away from both. <laughs> oh. So we should all find this, this movie and watch it and then talk about it next week. Let's see if we can do it. Well, I wanted to do something different next week. But we'll do it. We'll, we'll we'll do that. We'll schedule it ahead of time. We'll we, okay, it. so here's what we need to do, guys. I'm going to post this link here again. If you guys, uh, you know, join our Discord server because we want to start doing things like this where we talk about these things or we watch a movie and then you know we post that in Discord server and then when we go live, we could do either a book review or do a movie review or something like that. Um, we do want to get guests coming on here, and uh, Cassandra, that's that's you, you right? Not Cassandra's the one in the thing. Yeah. We need to talk to you about the October project. Um, and I know you're not feeling good, so um, whenever you're available to do that, hopefully in the next few days, if you could um, talk about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because uh, we got to get rolling on that. But anyways, the point I was trying to make was we want to have Pusha on yeah. our show yes. to hear her story. And we want to start having people on to hear their paranormal stories. But the movie review, you know, talk about the movies and things like that, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. But we can work those things out and get them going in our Discord. So please consider joining if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. That would be pretty cool all right so 
Ksenia just uh, posted a link. Facebook introduces watch party to let you watch shows together with friends. Ooh. Yeah, but that's on Facebook, and I'm, I hate Facebook. <laughs> You're sick. I do. I, don't, I got I don't. too many. Yeah. Well, let's put it this way. I don't know who's in here. I gotta well, watch I'm what gonna, I say. I have too this. many trolls on Facebook. Okay, I'll just put it that way. <laughs> I don't know. You could run that. You're our Facebook person. Well, I'll have to like look into yeah. this here thing here. What else you guys got for us? Yeah. More homework. Go ahead, hit us, please. Yeah, this is awesome. I still have a couple weeks before I go back to PSPR. School. If you're still here, I just found out something earlier too for one of our videos that we could do another um, service that looked pretty cool that um, helps with planning out videos and things like that, and you could tie it into Google Calendar <laughs> and. You can start writing your descriptions for your videos and things like that. So, Donnie Shaw says E.T. is a scary film. It is. All right, Donnie Shaw. Hey, everybody that's here, how many people we got in the room? Uh, you guys are not going to believe this one, but just down the road from us, we drive by it every single day. Her grandparents are buried there as well. Mm -hmm. Is a cemetery, a huge cemetery right down the street from us, right next to our church, actually, but it's not our church cemetery. Right, our church cemetery yeah. is across town. The actor that played E.T. is buried in that cemetery right down the street from us. That's mm -hmm. weird that you bring that up. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to go and take them someday. Yeah, but we got to get a book for the cemetery and find out where it is because that's a huge cemetery. It is. I don't and even know. I'm not know. going stone to stone looking for it. Yeah, them. I don't even know where some of my relatives are buried in that particular cemetery um, that are, like, hidden. Yeah, but E.T. is buried in that cemetery yeah. right down the street. Yeah, we'll have the to. The actor that played E.T. We'll have to uh, look into that. <clears throat> That'd be cool to show them. Mm -hmm. It's called Calvary Cemetery. Yeah, Calvary, Calvary Cemetery. Mm -hmm. Our church cemetery is the next street over. But. Yeah. Of course, we got to get on that. Is that where we're going to be buried? In our uh, church cemetery? I don't know. We haven't we get discussed those plots. that. We haven't discussed that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I let's see. A, I need uh, to have PSPR a says SB7 at ET's grave would be awesome. Yeah, we could do it. I, I don't. Okay. Pusha Studio says she thinks Netflix has it too. I'm assuming that's ET. Unless it's the uh, possession of 2012. Well, we'll look on. We're going to have to check out to that. We have we have uh, Roku on our thing, so we could type it in and it'll tell us where it's available. So we got. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see here. Dover Paratech says Jeffrey Dean Morgan is in that movie. Um, and Sandy Wolflet says talk to Spectral Wolfpack. He's a has a podcast. Let's see, what else did we miss here? Uh, Sandy Wolf, I found an old graveyard in the woods, forgotten, has World War I people in it. What state are we in? We're in Ohio. Youngstown, Ohio. So Dover Paratech, you are in PA? Did it, you were 30 minutes away from Gettysburg, right? Well, it could be Maryland. But I thought that they said they were 30 minutes from. Well, Maryland's right next to Gettysburg. Is there a Dover, Maryland? Probably is. <clears throat> um, What else? What else? Yes, Dover, PA. I'm trying to see if I missed anything in the uh, chat here. Sandy Wolf Lit grew up in Cincinnati, outside of of York, York, PA. All right, ready, good. Maryland next to West Virginia too. Sandy, you move a you you Oh, you're saying are you saying that there's a there's a Dover in Maryland too? 
Maryland next to West Virginia, too. Um, <clears throat> Pusa, I sent you a direct message in uh, Twitter. If you want to check it out. Grew up in Cincy. Yeah, Cincinnati is about four and a half, five hours from us. We're in the northeast tip of Ohio. If you get it, if you get in contact with someone that had a split personality when they were alive, would you get many responses, responses from one person? Wow, that's a good question. I like Richard that is always, a good question. Richard always has such good questions. That's a very good question. Well, Usually, it's always said that, that you are pretty much in spirit that you are when you are alive. Mm -hmm. So I would assume, I would just make the assumption of yes. But I would Because we always also, get reports, if you are cranky when you're old, when right. you're, when you're pass over, you're going to be cranky anyways. doesn't mean that you're an evil person, you're just right. cranky. But I guess if you had split personality. Yeah, but see, at the same time... I also would say that it might be different on different days or maybe five or ten minutes apart because usually if they have a split personality, one personality is kind of presenting at a time and then they might have another one take over. So at, on one hand, yes, they would probably be very much the same and have the split personality still coming through. But at the on the other hand, I don't think it would be like all at the same time i think that they would probably split their selves the way they did in real life sometimes it's minutes hours sometimes even days that they're um in one personality so yeah i think it would vary as well but that that would be interesting if you thought you had one spirit in the house and then you're like oh no well maybe there's three and it turned out it was really just <laughs> one that had a lot of personalities that would be kind of cool all right, know. bye, Anya. Thanks for uh, coming by and playing yes, with us. Yes, thank you. I'm glad you had fun with the, uh, <laughs> the so Pictionary. So, been to Xenia in Elyria, Ohio. So, Xenia, uh, Ohio now is the location where they have the huge Northeast, or, yeah, North, Northeast National Regional Ham Fest is now in Xenia. Is it? Ohio. Okay. Yeah, they moved it there. Okay. Um and Elyria, that's that's around Cleveland. Actually, in Elyria is where um, you keep want, wanting to go all summer. Garfield's house is in Elyria. Is it? It's a suburb of Cleveland. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I've been trying to get you to go there all all summer. I know. I wanted to take my dad. That's what scared me about going to Insane Asylum, Crazy Spirits. Yeah, I would assume. I mean, you guys are paranormal investigators. What's your uh, opinion? I mean, yeah. I would think. Does anybody else have any thoughts on that matter? Oh, just one more. One more when I heard split personality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting theory. Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, I think we're about uh, out of. We've been going comments. for two and a half hours, so it's time to feed you. Is that what you're getting? <laughs> so, if a spirit had Alzheimer's in life, could they hide their own Easter eggs? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, uh -huh. Dover, Dover, Dover. <laughs> Bet you I don't know. Could. I wonder if we get to choose, like, once we cr cross over, if we get to choose what, you know. But of course, Native Native American beliefs is that when you die, that's how you are in the spirit world. And then we just read that about, I don't know. Like, what form do you get to take? You know, the, I felt better as a younger guy. I looked better as a younger guy. It was a lot less weight as a younger guy you know, do you get to take hey i want to look like that or <laughs> is it like when you pass i don't know i don't know it's interesting stuff i guess we'll all find out one day yeah all 
Alrighty, guys, we're going to wrap it up because I'm starting to get a little hungry. All right. All right? Yes. All right. All right. Let Thank you, button, everybody. Button, button, Thank buttons. you, everybody, for coming, coming in tonight and saying hello to us. Oh, shapeshifters. Um, so thank you very much for coming in. We appreciate all of you coming in and saying hello to us, spending some quality time with us, looking at our lovely drawing skills. Oh, lovely, lovely <laughs> drawings. Yes, oh, thank goodness. you very much. We will be back live definitely next Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern. Let's talk paranormal. We may go live some point during the week. Don't know yet. Um, if not, we're going to have some videos come out, so check them out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, going to be a pretty good week. And next week we'll decide what we're going to do for the following week and That's following right. week and following week. There you go. All righty. Hey, until next time. Thanks for watching. And happy hunting. If you'd like to see more videos from Panic D videos in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash that bell for notifications. Also, help support the channel by sharing this video with your friends and family and anyone else who might be interested in the paranormal. Thanks for watching and happy hunting. <laughs>